CHI defines two types of DVM operations, non-synchronization DVMs and synchronization DVMs. The attributes of a DVM operation dictate whether a request node must wait for an operation to complete before responding to a DVM snoop. Non-synchronization DVMs, referred to as DVM non-sync, do not require the DVM operation to finish executing, allowing multiple non-synchronization DVMs to be outstanding. For example, an RNF can issue multiple branch predictor or instruction cache invalidations, and the receiving RNF or RND does not have to execute the operation immediately. After receiving a DVM snoop indicating a DVM non-sync, the RNF or RND issues a snoop response to the DVM node. The snoop response acknowledges receipt of the DVM message, but does not indicate that the request node has executed the DVM operation. The DVM node is then able to send a completion message to the initiating RNF to indicate that the DVM operation has been accepted. To ensure that all outstanding DVM requests have executed, an RNF issues a synchronization DVM operation, also known as a DVM sync. The DVM sync cannot be issued until all completion responses for prior DVM messages have been received. When a request node receives a DVM sync on its snoop channel, it does not issue a response until all prior DVM operations have been executed. Therefore, the completion response from the DVM node for a DVM sync guarantees that all prior DVM operations have been executed. DVM syncs work in a similar way to those in ACE, in that they check all previously issued DVM operations have been completed. The difference with them in CHI is that less completions are required in the process. One thing to note is that ARM calls generate DVM syncs as a result of a DSP instruction. However, implementations may choose to issue DVM syncs as a result of a DSP only if a DVM op has previously been issued.